Hey, change agents. <laughs> Welcome. Today, if this is your first time catching me, my name is Tracy B. Allen. I am the owner of TBA Consulting, where we help our clients to develop the systems and processes needed to build and grow profitable, sustainable, and compliant infrastructures so that they can achieve their mission and realize their vision, but most of all, so that they can create impact within their communities. Today, we're talking about three ways or three steps to strategic planning. Okay, uh, we talked about, we've been talking about strategic planning all week, and we know that is imperative for every organization, for profit or nonprofit, to have a, st a strategic plan in place. This plan will help you to drive your organization forward. It is a solid plan that everyone in your organization can pick up, look at, and understand the direction in which you are trying to go financially, infrastructure wise. Um, client wise, it just, it's a solid piece of document that helps everyone to understand what their place is within the organization, what role they need to play in order to get to the end goal. What is the end goal and what does the end goal look like? But there are some things that you need to put into place prior to starting your strategic plan. And the first thing is preparing the um, to plan. So what does preparing to plan means? It means getting your team together. Who are the key people in your organization that are going to help you to make these decisions and make sure that the implementation process um, is done effectively? So you need to gather those people together and tell them about what you want to do. You want to create the strategic plan. You want to know what their vision is for the organization and what place they see themselves in in the organization. All of this needs to be done prior to getting a facilitator in. You need to have that initial conversation with your team so you can see what headspace they're in. And if you yourself, you know, your vision for the organization or the business is the same vision that your employees or your team feels that is the right move to make forward. Because if you don't have buy-in from the people who are at, supposed to do the implementation, it can become very, very touchy. Um, so you wanna make sure you do that. You wanna make sure that you have all of your data. So you go back and you look at what has happened over the past couple of years that you've been in business. What has worked, what hasn't worked. It is always better to do that on your own. And yes, the, a facilitator will come in and they will facilitate you know, diving deeper into that data, but having that knowledge, that working knowledge is going to be imperative to a smooth planning process so that when the facilitator does come in, you can talk intelligently with that facilitator. You can um, tell them how, you, how you've been doing throughout the year, where you see the vision of the organization going and why you see it going there based on statistical data, okay? And then the second thing that you want to do is to create the plan. So you want to get again with your team and the, the, the facilitator and sit down and actually create a plan of action. Now, nothing that you do in a business, we know, is cast in stone. So this plan is not going to be a concrete plan. This plan will change throughout the process. So you're going to try things, you're going to implement things in your plan, and then you're going to figure out, ooh, that really doesn't work. So how can we go back and tweak it? But you need to still create a plan. You have to have that written document. What are, what are the goals? How are you going to create those goals? What are the time frames on the goals? Who's responsible for it? You know, what is the expected outcome? What does that expected outcome look? How long should that outcome last? And how are we going to follow up and evaluate the outcome to make sure that it does meet the criteria, the standards, the benchmarks that we have set forth for this particular outcome? So creating the plan is the next step, sitting down. And this process can take anywhere from a week. It can take months. It all depends on how quickly you can gather the information um, and how, I guess, how quickly you want to move through the process. Because some people just want a facilitator to come in and create a plan and that's it. And then it's by some people actually want the facilitator to come in or the strategic planning um, expert to come in, help them create the plan, help them with the implementation and the, evaluati the evaluation process. So it can take anywhere from 
eight weeks to six months to a year to really create a plan that is going to be effective for your business or your nonprofit organization. So it's not one set thing. It's a process. It takes time. It takes several meetings to actually create a plan that everybody's buying into and every a plan that is actually going to work for the betterment of the organization on all levels. The next thing that you want to do is to execute that plan. So you've, pl um, you've done the preparation for the plans, you've created the plans. Now it's time for execution or implementation, right? So making sure that everyone knows what their specific tasks are, how long they have to achieve that specific task, and what you expect the outcome of that task to be, okay? Um, this may take meetings and documents for people to understand. It may also take some micromanaging if it's something new that your staff is not accustomed to doing. But if you are diligent in the process, the strategic plan works and it just makes everybody's life more, it makes, you, makes life easier for everyone in the organization because there is no question about what people are supposed to be doing. There's no question about who is supposed to be doing that task. How many times have you gone to work and people are like, well, that's not my job. That's not my job. I didn't know I was supposed to do that. When was that due? You have all of this written down and it's a document that everyone has and everyone can refer back to. So you shouldn't have anyone you know, running around saying, I don't know what to do. I didn't know I was supposed to do that. Strategic plans help to keep everything organize. So these are just three simple steps. Of course, they're more in-depth steps, but these are just three simple steps that you can use to create an effective strategic plan. So I hope this helps. If you want to reach out to us, we are at tvacon.com at 860-890-6615. It's scrolling at the bottom of the screen. My website, again, is tvacon.com, and my phone number is 860-890-6615. We would love to help you create a strategic plan for your organization that is going to help you to get to the next level. All right, change agents, remember that there's someone in your community who needs the products and services that you offer, and it is your responsibility to make sure you get it right. Have a great day. Until next time.